Oh, yeah. so you said you had a good story about when you lost your Yeah, I like, I mean, it was like in a threesome. And oh, wow. Yeah, I was like 15. It was freshman year. The, I was I was such a pick me girl. Like I literally was like, yeah, I'll be the team manager like for football. That was not a like it did not exist. I went to like the principal and I was like, I could help the football team by like giving them water, like being the water girl, basically. Mm-hmm. But I just wanted some dick. Like I just wanted a boyfriend. Like, <laughs> you know, like it was just terrible because like I was like, I think I'm hot now or oh, I can get a boy. But yeah, so like. Uh, it was these two guys. I remember we were walking from football practice, and then they were just like, "Have you had sex?" I was like, "Yeah." What you talking about? <laughs> like I be fucking out here. <laughs> I was like, and then they were like, "I mean, what you trying to do?" And I was like, "What y'all trying to do?" And so like we were like, we saw like like behind the school there were these wood woods, and then like at the top of the woods like somebody's house. So we just go like between like in that area. So. Um, it was me and these two guys. I don't like. I, I didn't really watch straight porn either. Like when I was watching porn, so I was like, "Oh my god!" Wait, you didn't watch straight porn when you watched porn? Would you watch? I would just watch lesbian, like Sherry oh, Deville. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was watching. Yeah, that's why I thought like for a minute, like that's what I was into. Right. But um, right. so I'm like walking with these guys, and I'm like, "Holy fuck!" Like I'm about to do this, and then they were virgins too. So it was just like, "Oh, oh my like virgin fucking orgy. god!" Yeah. <laughs> It was. So it was just like nobody knowing what to do. <laughs> like it was so terrible. And I didn't even have sex for like two, like two, three years after that. Because I was like, that's what sex is? Like what? Wait, like- I need to know more details about this. <laughs> were you guys all trying to pretend like you were not virgins? Yes. Like we so were all of you fucking, yeah. were fronting. And so- I remember the one guy trying to put it in my asshole. And I've never had anal sex. Like even till now. And I was just like, Wrong I was like, hole. I guess that's it. Like, I guess, but it couldn't go anywhere. So then we tried, you know, the vagina. But also, I didn't know you needed to be wet. They didn't know you needed to be wet. So it was just like, why isn't this going in? So it was just like a painful ordeal. It was <sighs> the sounds that probably people heard was terrible. Like, it was just trying to figure out how this works. And I think wow. only the tips got in. <laughs> oh so if God. that counts, it's losing virginity. But wow. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you like blow it? Had you given blowjobs before? No. I was like, nothing. I'm too, I'm too pretty for that. I don't know why. Like, I literally had that attitude for such a long time. I was like, no. I'm like, too, you were too pretty for yeah, blowjobs? Yeah. And the crazy thing is, I don't have a uvula because I got cut off in Kenya. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I could give good head. Like, I I think I good pretty, I give pretty good head. So like, but for a long time, I was not giving head. Wow. Like, yeah. So they only got, like, the little tips in there. Yeah, that was and it. Then, and then, <laughs> did anybody come? Um, no, I don't think so. But I was scared of being pregnant for a while. Yeah, like, it was. It was a very dry experience. Like, <laughs> there was no moisture, like, nowhere. Like, yeah. we didn't even know to use saliva. Like, wow. yeah, it was just terrible. And then, like, I remember going to school the next day, and I was just like... <laughs> I'm so loose. Like, I was like, I'm so loose. (laughs) But I felt like, you know, I felt grown up. I was like, I'm no longer like these little girls anymore. Like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it's probably safe to say you didn't have a lot of sex education growing up. No, I did not. (laughs) No. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. That was bad. Yeah. Unfortunately, (laughs) that's the case for a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. I wonder if people have had like good first times, especially if they were young. Like, You know, I mean... Mine was not good. Yeah. I had sex with my, I was 16. My boyfriend was 15. He was a dick. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I just wanted to get like, lose my get virginity with, yeah. because all my friends had lost their virginity. Um, I wish I'd waited because I ended right. up having a really great boyfriend like six months later mm. and we were together for like a year. You could have and, and he was awesome. <laughs> yeah. I wish I'd waited for him. Yeah. But I didn't. I lost it to fucking... Fucking Justin Pearson. Oh if you're gosh. out there, Justin Pearson, <laughs> you were a dick. Because he wouldn't take his shirt off because he had pimples all over his back. So he wouldn't take his shirt off during sex. See, I um, would have appreciated that. And he was, to be fair, he was gentle with me okay. during it. Like he didn't, mm-hmm. like, I was like, oh, that hurts. And he was like, yeah. slow down. But then like a week later, we broke up because he was just so mean to me. And I crashed my car oh my God. and he didn't care. And he he told me, I'll never, yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget this. I crashed my car like a week later. I was like crying hysterically. And he was like, I don't care that you crashed your car. All I care about is the skink and pickle concert next week. Oh my God. I don't know why this always Justin? stuck with me. I was like, I'm less important to this guy than a fucking ska concert. <laughs> 
Damn, he really did not give up. Like, how was he going to get there? Were you going to be his ride? No. No good down. I don't know. He was just like, I like, I just crashed my car. I was well, crying. good that you was, broke like, up so with him. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Fucking Justin Pearson. I never had You never deserved up. my virginity. Exactly. Dude. <laughs> Time here and Khalil, y'all deserved it. I just wish it was better. (laughs) I could give them a round to you, honestly. I would love to I would love to finish that. (laughs) Oh my god, maybe you could do like a fuck a fan thing and bring them back for (laughs) like the same spot. (laughs) To like the real experience and then film it for your OnlyFans and make a ton of money. Yes. (laughs) What were their names? Khalil and Tymir. Khalil, Khalil and Khalil Tamir. is either dead or in prison. I don't know. Ooh, I, like, I was stalking not. him the other day, but I was just like, there's nothing past, like, 2016. So. Oh, man. Could be jail or death. Yeah. Yeah. Sad. Yeah. Maybe just, who's the other one? Khal- uh, Tamir. Tamir. He's alive. Yeah. He's seen him. Okay. Tamir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. Fuck Tamir, actually, because he was my boyfriend, and he, he made me keep it a secret. Oh, <laughs> like, he okay. He was one of those boys, like, let's just not tell everybody. <laughs> I think I had a couple of those boyfriends. It was too. very weird. Like, why did they very do that? Very unkind. Yeah. So basically, I just want to have sex with you, but I don't want anyone. I don't to want like anyone to know. Know that we're together. Right. It's terrible. Ugh, I just wish I knew better. Like when I was young. <laughs> Same. I know, right? And it's like now that I have a daughter, I'm like, I hope that I can teach her to wait for yeah. the right person. But like in all honesty, like the kids are gonna do what the yeah, fuck they're exactly. gonna do. You can't control them. Just be safe. 